Yeah. All right, Shalom, brothers. Uh, we're back out here uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Praise be to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and unto the elders who taught us this word. And um, pretty much, we're out here again a year later, and what we're doing is the casting down of the uh, Easter imagination, to, uh, 2012. All right. And we, you know, we're going into this, showing you that this this Easter shit is all bullshit. It's all uh, uh, pagan worship, you know, worship of uh, the Queen of Heaven, you know, and uh, the worship of fer fer fertility rights and all that, and how it's all paganistic, you know. And people are are keeping up and celebrating this 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 holiday, and they don't even know what the hell they, they're celebrating. And but the elites know, the elites know. That is all paganistic. It's all demonic, you know. So we're gonna go into uh, some scriptures and some some information that we got that we copied and printed down uh, dealing with this bullshit holiday called Easter. All right. So the other Mathesak is gonna read, you know, the uh, the some scriptures here. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll start. This is Matthew uh, 27. I start the first verse. It says, "When the morning." Actually, you know what? Let me just uh, yeah, let me go back for a minute. Let me go back to uh, Matthew's 26. Matthew's uh, 26, and I'm gonna start at uh, I'm gonna start at uh, verse verse one. And I'm gonna jump. Basically, I'm gonna jump around. We reading up like like the elder soccer around said. We're gonna read up to the events of when the Lord was crucified, when it was taking place. All right, so this is Matthew chapter 26, verse 1. And it came to pass, when Yahweh Shai had finished all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, You know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Then assembled together the chief priests and the scribes and the elders of the people unto the palace of the high priest, who was called Caiaphas, and consulted that they might take Yahweh Shai by subtility and kill him. But they said, not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar among the people. Now I'm going to jump, jump down uh, to verse 17. It says, now the first day of the feast of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Yahweh Shai saying unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Go in the city to such a man and say unto him, The master saith, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. And that's who the Lord kept the, the Passover with. All right? They didn't say, they didn't have no, no women or none disciple lets. It was the disciples, the twelve disciples. And the disciples did as Yahweh Shai had appointed them. And they made ready the Passover. Now when the even was come, he sat down with the twelve. And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceeding sorrowful, and began every one of them to say to him, Lord, is it I? All right, now, now, I'm going to jump, uh, you know, we just jump and hitting the points. Right. Right, because you brothers pretty much, I read, I read through this. So now I'm going to jump back to uh, the 27th verse. Right. If I if I miss any key points, y'all brothers just let me know. Fine. All right. Now, Matthew's chapter twenty-seven, verse one. It says, "When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Yahweh Shai to put him to death." Meaning, the morning after they had the Passover. Now, in other parts of the scriptures, too, it lets you know that the night of the Passover. Is the, is the beginning of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Right. All right, so now that next morning, this is when they consulted against the Lord. Verse 2, And when they had bound him, they, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, which he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders saying, I have sinned, and that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is what is that to us? See thou to that. Mm -hmm. Which, and also too, 
uh, uh, prophecy. And furthermore, it shows you like on the movie, the, the so-called Passion of Christ, uh, and, and all these other different uh, churches teach that there were kids mocking Judas and all. That's not in, in the scriptures. Right. All that, right? that was Mel Gibson with his bullshit. Yeah. And, and that's that's a, a pagan, another thing that they added into those pagan religions teaching. That's not in the scriptures. Right. All right. Now I'm going to uh, jump around again. I'm going to jump to uh, the 19th verse. All right. It says, when he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, 